Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be taking a look at a chemical peel that is called a VI Precision Plus Peel. <laughs> new to my channel my focus here for 2020 is skincare I am doing all different types of treatments and different types of lasers and peels and all different kinds of things for this year I want my skin to be as good as it possibly can as healthy as it possibly can and so I have started a series of three chemical peels and that is called the VI Precision Plus Peel. The process you are going to see here today is my second peel in the set of three. I did one six weeks ago, I did another one now, and then I have one more six weeks out. Before we jump into the peel, I wanted to tell you guys a couple key things. I am in the Maryland area and the location that I go to is called Belcara Health and I go to them for all my filler, all of my Botox, all of my peels, my microderm, I go there for my lasers, I go there for anything that is cosmetic, surgery, med spa related. I trust them impeccably for all of this. They are absolutely amazing. Tammy did my peel, Kara is who I go to for my lasers and injectables. I absolutely love it there. They are absolutely amazing. I have friends that live in Virginia that drive up. I have friends that live in Delaware that drive down. If you are in the tri-state area, trust me, they are worth coming for. Now, I do want to mention as far as the VI Precision Plus Peel, one of the reasons, again, that I find this peel to be the best peel I have ever done is because through the process, in the actual peel that they are putting on, not the part that you take home with you, but the part that they are putting on at the med spa, there is actually a numbing agent in the very first layer of peel that you put on. So that is so relaxing, guys. I've had chemical peels where it's like all three layers. I have a crazy high tolerance for pain, but those three layers as they're going on, you just feel it and it's incredibly uncomfortable. This is not the case with this peel. So if you've had a peel and had that experience, try this type of peel out, guys. I kid you not, that first one tingles for just a moment. And to me, it does not tingle any more than something I could do at home. So you put, they put that layer on, and once it is on for just a moment, and they use a little fan on you, once it cools down, it numbs your face, and you don't feel that sting, tingle, irritation, anything. It is actually very, very relaxing. So I am going to show you what that precision peel looks like every day, step by step. Good morning, guys. All right, I am going to go get my chemical peel today. This is the second one in a series of three, and I wanted to show you guys my skin ahead of time. This is what it looks like up close. I only have a little bit of concealer under my eyes, but this is what my skin tone looks like. I've been getting rid of this. So I am doing a series of both chemical peels and lasers. This video is going to be specifically about the chemical peel. Afterwards, I look a little bit like Oompa Loompa because of the fact that right after you're done for a couple hours, it does get a little oxidized, I guess, for lack of a better term, a little orange. I did purposely wear a v-neck shirt because we went all the way down through here as much as we could, as you saw in the clips that I put in. Now I have my at-home care, and at 3.30, I have to do a peel pad. So it actually comes with a set of dark green peel pads, and then there are ones that are lime green. It also comes with cleanser. Just let me find one to show you. Here we go. Comes with cleanser packs, and then it also comes with the post peel protectant and the SPF 50 cream. So lots of things going on here. I will show you as I do them, and we're just going to go right into it, and I'll show you as we go along. So this is what it looks like. I'm getting ready to pull my hair up 
because right now I need to go cleanse my skin with their cleanser and then I have to do one of the peel pads. It has been a little bit over four hours, which it says. So the actual steps are all inside this little booklet and it says that the four hours post-treatment leave on the VI Peel Precision Plus solution. For over four hours, you may cleanse this, you may then cleanse the skin, avoid hot water and gently pat it dry. So I'm gonna go do that and I'll be right back. All right, so I just washed my face with cool water and I patted it dry and it says to then use the dark green towelette. This one is the dark green towelette. As you can tell, this one is the lighter or brighter green version. So the dark green doesn't have anything on the back, but the bright green very obviously does. So now I'm gonna take this and it says for medium darker skin tones, you can apply the SPF afterwards. Um, I'm not going anywhere. We're going to be out in the sun, so I don't have any need for that. So this is what the towelette looks like. You kind of just open it up, and you're just going to go right in those areas. I think I'm going to fold it over. It looks too, feels too big. You're going to go gently in those areas that she went on. Up the lip, down the nose. Trying to avoid, it's a strong scent. Trying to avoid my eyebrows down the neck or up the neck. I'm not pulling, so it doesn't necessarily have to go down. I do have, I got water all over myself, but we went all the way down my chest, as I mentioned. So I'm gonna drag this all the way down my chest. And then I always make sure there's no liquid left in here. Oh, and see there was, just a little bit. And then we did the backs of my hands. The back of your hands is super important because it shows the um, your age. I feel like that can show your age as quick as anything else. Your age, your neck, and this still feels damp, so I'm just gonna keep going over it, just gently. Pretty simple. And on the last towelette that she did, she went a little bit under the eyes, so I'm just going, not all the way up, just a little bit. The first place I always, always, always peel is on my chin. Always. All right, guys, that's this step and I'll show you the rest tonight. Good morning guys. So I just got out of the shower and in the morning for day two, the only things you do are wash your face with the cleanser. I still am using the first pack of it uh, with not hot water. I use cool water is the easiest way to explain it. And then pat it dry. I did put a little bit of under eye cream on, a non-irritating one, nothing with retinols or anything like that. So for today, you use the Post Peel Protectant and it is an anti-itch cream, which actually I ended up using last night. Um, every time you do these peels, it is different. And the last time I did this one, I had no itching, no anything. Last night before I went to bed, or when I laid down in bed, I should say, all of a sudden I got like crazy itchy. And I was like, oh my gosh, I was like, I won't be able to sleep like this. And I've heard people say that, but I have never experienced that in all the time of having peels. And so I came up, put a little bit of this on, and I was good to go, which was perfect. I'm wearing just a t-shirt today because I need a v-neck because of the fact that I am... Uh, 
putting this on and then continually throughout the day. It says every two, it says two to four times a day to put this on, making sure I get it on the back of my hands. I'm gonna let this sit for a minute and then I'm going to use the SPF 50 cream. This is what you wanna put on afterwards. Um, there's no sun out here today, but I'm still putting it on because of the fact that of course the sun can still get through clouds and things like that. They do come sealed. Um, but yeah, so I have used all of these things. So tonight is the last night I think I am doing. Let's take a look at the little booklet and see. Um, I am doing day three. Oh, no, here's tonight. I am doing the lime green one. And then, so the same thing I did last night, the lime green and then the dark green. Um, so that will be tonight. Another cool thing is I've actually been using this. They have a little app and on my phone, which is taping right now, I have the app. Um, but this is the SPF 50 cream, and oops, that one's a little bit more runny than the other. Again, just gonna make sure I put this everywhere that the peel was, and then just blend it in. She was telling me about this woman that went and got the chemical peel done, and she had told her, you know, stay out of the sun, stay out of harsh conditions, things like that, and so the woman was shoveling, not thinking. You know how the sun reflects off of it? she got such bad burn from actually going out in the snow without enough SPF on. So that just shows you have to make sure, I always forget to go around my nose because that is one of the areas that really crazy feels. So today I'm literally just wearing a sweatshirt over this t-shirt and if I need to, when I do this, I'll take the sweatshirt off, but I will be ready to go. A little bit of under eye cream, nothing else on my face. I, I planned this accordingly. I knew that I was going to be doing this and I wanted to make sure that I continually had things that were not super important things that I could go out looking like this, the things I was going to go out for, and then any other days that I could just stay around the house. So this is where we're at, day two. So earlier I showed you what my skin looked like as soon as I got up. Now I have since gotten in the shower, washed my face, patted it dry, and put on the moisturizer. Now I'm gonna put on the SPF, but first I'm gonna show you. You can see, even after the moisturizer, little clumps of kind of skin is the easiest way I can explain it. Another key point is after you have washed your face and you put on the moisturizer, it has a little bit of a tingling feel to it, mostly because of the fact that it's where you've washed your face and it has moved around the dead skin that's coming off. So it has fresh skin underneath, so it tingles just a little bit. But once it goes on, you're fine. Throughout the day, it won't bother you. It's just that initial right after you wash your face. So let's get a close. All right, so you can see a couple little clumps of skin. This is always the first spot that peels on me all through here. You can see right here. I just saw a little bit up over here. But yeah, so now I've moisturized and we are just gonna let this go for the day. Keep putting moisturizer on it. I'll put a little bit of under eye concealer on and I'll show you guys tomorrow. So I wanted to take a second to tell you guys, I put a little bit of under eye concealer on and it's not working. I have never, ever, ever peeled this quickly with a peel. I've had them done tons and tons and tons of times. Typically the first day it's like through here and then it moves through. I literally have peeling back through here, under through here, over along here, and all through here. Every time is different, guys. So my skin is a little bit red and irritated because of it. I keep putting the moisturizer on because of it. But, I mean, it's interesting. I, I've just never had it happen this quick, and I wanted to tell you guys. So Good morning, everyone. So this is what we look like right now. 
I just woke up. It is 7.45 and I am definitely, it's not peeling per se, as I'm more flaky today through here and through here. You can't even see it unless you are up super close in a magnifying mirror. Have a little bit in through here, just a little bit up here. But overall, it's looking good. Feels good. Doesn't feel like that tight, constricted feel anymore. Does feel good. Um, just keep moisturizing it and no makeup on it, and we'll see how we go from here. Good morning, everybody. All right, we are on day five, right? And I am almost completely peeled. I have a little bit of flaking around the edges. Like, you can, um, you won't be able to see it, but I can see it with, like, a magnifying mirror. A little bit right around the edges here, a couple here. I don't see any on this side. I don't feel any on my neck and I don't see any on my neck. So for the most part, we're pretty much done. Right there, we're good to go. So that is everything, guys. This is what it looks like. I love it. My eyes are still super red right now because I, they're irritated. They always are in the morning, but yeah, I think it looks great. I will give you guys more information right after this. I just wanted to show you the last day with it. So now we are at day seven. So this is my skin and what it looks like. I do have foundation on, of course, but this is what it looks like after a full week of having the peel done, what my skin looks like, down through my neck where we did, all over my face. I love the results that I get through doing a peel process. It makes your skin feel like a baby's butt. It gives you such a glow. It makes your skin feel so healthy and so amazing. Now, a couple of key things to keep in mind is during the peel process, you can wear makeup. I personally chose not to wear makeup, but it is a personal preference as to how comfortable you are going out. If you do tend to wear something like a foundation, I would suggest something more like a CC cream or a BB cream that gives you a little bit of coverage, but still is giving you that moisture you need to keep the skin peeling. Now this peel also is my second one in a series of three. And I did notice the difference between the peel the first time and this second one. The first one was definitely much thicker pieces of skin peeling off, whereas this one was much flakier. It was little pieces where the other one was kind of like rolled up clumps that kind of, it sounds gross, but that's kind of what they did. Whereas this one was just like little flakes that I noticed and then they went away. Um, I continued to moisturize them, which helped keep the flakes at bay and wasn't as noticeable when I was out. There was one night that was day two or three. I think it was day three. We went to the movies and to dinner and Marty was like, thank goodness this place is dark because your skin looks crazy. And I was like, oh, who cares? You know what I mean? Like, it is what it is. I'm not too worried about it. It is, you know, you go out, people see you. It's fine. It's not a big deal to me. So to everyone is different. So I will say as well for this process, this time I did use the post peel aftercare app. I had never used that before. I found it very easy. It reminded you when you needed to do certain things. It gave you alerts and notifications, made it so much easier than continually having to refer back to the whole booklet. But all of the information you do need is provided for you here in this booklet if you need the information as you go along. This peel, I have done a lot of peels, guys. You can go in and search my name and put peel after it. You will see all the different peels I have done. This is by far my favorite, favorite, favorite peel. Another thing I do want to mention is why I also like the actual peel itself. It just seems to give me the best results of any peel I have had. I've always had peels done and they've worked very well. I like the results of actually shedding my skin, but I feel like this one actually helps with reducing sunspots. It helps with reducing any redness in my skin. It helps with fine lines as it's getting rid of that dead skin that's sitting on top and causing the fine lines to look much more noticeable. I will also stick in here a before and after so you are able to take a good look at that and see the differences that you might see on these before and after. As always guys, on Instagram as well, I am always showing you guys as I do these things because I'm not gonna sit down and do a video every single time. 
I do post them on Instagram and I have a whole, an entire highlights folder there as well that will show you any processes I have done. I'm also in the process of doing an IPL Genesis laser as well. So if you are interested, definitely follow along there to see what that is. And as always, guys, I truly appreciate you following along. As always, guys, if you have any questions on anything you saw here, please put them down below and I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. If you are interested in seeing more videos about skincare, I will put my skincare routine right up here. And as always, if you are interested in another style of video, I can put one over here as well. And the little photo in the front here will take you to subscribe to my channel if you are not yet subscribed. Thank you so much for watching and sticking with me, guys, and have a great day. Bye.